Hey there, it's Rob Knight, and I wanted to record this quick video about how to utilize the new bird detection autofocus feature in the EM1X camera. So I'm going to jump right into it, and I'm going to press the menu button on the back of the EM1X, and I'm going to scroll down to the little cog there, that's the custom menu, and I'm going to scroll down to the A3 menu, and then I'm going to find tracking subject and I'm going to press to the right on the little uh, directional pad and you can see I've already selected birds here. This is where your default is going to be off and we've always had motorsports, airplanes, and trains but now with the new firmware as of December 2nd, 2020, we have birds. So I'm going to press OK to save that. Okay, now I'm in my shooting view and I'm going to press the OK button to bring up the super control panel. And in order to use the bird tracking, we're going to be in continuous autofocus plus tracking. So you can access that via the super control panel or uh, whatever way, you know, you can go through the menu or whatever you like. Okay, now I'm in the shooting mode here on the EM1X and you can see that there's already a white square around this bird. Now, it's a cold day here in Atlanta and there's not many birds outside. Plus, I needed a sure thing for my demo. So I'm using just a calendar on the wall with a picture of a red-legged honeycreeper that I shot in Costa Rica. And the camera has already found the bird. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in with the 100 to 400. And you can see that it, it knows exactly where that is. That's where it wants to focus. And uh, I'm going to press the back button to focus and it locks focus and you can see it automatically went and found the head of the bird and it found the eye as well. And you can see as I, as I move the camera around, it's gonna continue to track that. Now myself and a lot of my colleagues are really excited about this, um, finally getting this into the Olympus system. And uh, I've been so happy with the Olympus autofocus already. So to add this functionality to it as well is really exciting. And uh, I can't wait to get outside and shoot and really try it in real life with birds in flight, with you know birds that are moving, birds in the trees and that kind of thing, and really put it through its paces. But uh, initially here, I just wanted to go ahead and let you know how to utilize it, how to turn it on, and, uh, and we'll look for more videos in the future about the specifics of how it works in the field. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions at all, post them in the comments, and uh, we'll see you next time.